What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Joel Culpepper Outdoors. I'm Joel Culpepper and uh, <clears throat> today we've got a uh, video. I've done something like this before but uh, not very often. Um, today I actually have a, instead of a mystery tackle box, a monster bass box and uh, has not been opened. So if you can see the tape has not been broken. Um, so we're going to open this up today and go through it and uh probably the next next month or two we're going to try to do a slam with this with uh ben maybe <clears throat> just kind of see where everything goes but open it up i'm going to first look inside hmm interesting so the first thing i see this bruiser baits it's called a bruiser cruiser <clears throat> it's a four inch crankbait two to four feet half ounce um not that great with these things but uh maybe they'll work <clears throat> next thing a ned rig Lunker Hunt Finesse Worm. I like the color though. What is it? Green pumpkin? Really like that color on there. You see it's got a little little Ned head on one of those. That's nice. Probably catch a few good fish on there. <clears throat> this one will probably be really easy to knock off. This is a Lunker Hunt. It's called Lunker Hunt Sticks, but just a Cinco in camo that's an interesting color let me get one not really got any scent but oh yeah oh yeah that'll work there'll be a fish caught on that one pretty easy <clears throat> so that's nice that's really nice easy easy one to knock out let's go on there was something a little bit A Lunker Hunt Popping Bug. Okay. I don't understand it, but maybe it works. Like you kind of Texas rig it. It's supposed to be really strong. I thought they had a really popping draw to me. That's one that you have to rig yourself. Um. So we have a Lunker Hunt Crush. <clears throat> so it looks like a little popper. It's nice. That'll work though. Catch fish. Next up, we have a Lunker Hunt Bait Shifter Shad. Oh, that is a big swim bait right there that's for them them four or five pound bass right there that's big old big old thing right there but <clears throat> i love the color watermelon red it's my favorite color watermelon red that'll be a really nice one to use we have a lunker hunt turbine this is a buzz bait getting that it's nice it'll i'm not sure <clears throat> Excuse me. Not sure how easy this one will be to uh, knock off the list, but could work. Could work. And the last thing, I don't know how I'm gonna knock this out, y'all. Big eye tailspin. Three eighths ounce jumbo. Oh yeah. I don't know how I'm going to do that one, y'all. Everything else seems doable, but that right there, I'm really not sure. Hmm, well, that's interesting. Golden ticket thing. Like you got a sticker. Lunker hunt. Well, yeah, I can tell that y'all really like your lunker hunt stuff. 
Let's see. Something that could, uh, that may have helped me later if I really like this anchor hunt stuff and go get some more of it. That's it. <clears throat> so, some of you guys may be wondering why I didn't get a mystery tackle box. And uh, the, the real reason behind that is I, I've done it before. I've just never, never got a box. And I looked inside and I just said, oh, this is really awesome. <clears throat> and I, I wanted to change that. So I, I decided to try Monster Bass. Don't know. I, I've got a three month subscription. So we're going to be getting two more of these boxes. Maybe three. I, I'm not really sure how that's all going to work. But um, if you guys really like this this video, I want you to go ahead and drop me a comment. Tell me you do like it, because if you guys like it, then I'll keep I'll keep making these kind of videos, and uh, I'll keep my subscription with them, and we'll make one of these once a month, and we'll we'll kind of go over everything that's <clears throat> that's going down on this stuff. I want to try to rig up this little little popping bug that they got in here. Those of you guys who have used a uh, what is what is it? Um, can't think of what it's called. Z Man, uh, the Elastec stuff. Oh, that's really tough. It's got that same feel to it. That really tough feel, but very difficult to hook or run your hook through. That's kind of the, the vibes I'm getting from it. Well, that's not perfect. Hold it up. I can fix that. I don't know why they would send this many top orders in January, especially because down here, <clears throat> we're really, it feels like we're just getting started with winter because it's, it's just now getting down into the, like the, like the, the thirties and I think that tomorrow is actually supposed to get down into the uh, into the twenties, which for us is that is like unheard of. But I know you guys up up north. If there's any of you guys that, that's uh, further north than uh, than I am, y'all y'all probably think that we're just we're just wimps in the cold, and that's because we are. You know, we're we're not used to it, but. This kind of stuff in February or January just doesn't, to me, it just doesn't make a lot of sense. There we go. I got it rigged up, but you, I'll have to unrig it to tie it back up. But it looks to me, <clears throat> you just work that like a little popping frog. You have to trim that up a little bit, but work it like a popping frog. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Then when fish comes up to bite, he'll take it and then you snatch the hook through the body and. I don't know why you would give such a thin wire hook with a bait like this. Good night. Y'all see that? It's just so easy for me to bend with my fingers. But I'm being being a little critical now. Because <clears throat> I, I just don't know how that's going to work. I, I've heard, I feel like Lunker Hunt makes a lot of good stuff. But at the same time, they, they make gimmicky products like this one i would consider this a gimmick something that's just, just not really gonna not really gonna work it might and it might really surprise me i, I may catch a you know a 10 pounder on this thing i don't know <clears throat> but before you so uh, i'm not a fan I'm, I'm not a real big fan of that color either the, the charcoal charcoal just doesn't seem to doesn't seem to do it for me. I like uh, I like my watermelon red and and a, just a regular colored frog. That's me. So I think what happened here with this bruiser 
fate. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure uh, when I was checking out, they had like a crankbait of the month that you could add on to it. And I said, you know what, we'll just go ahead and do it, pay the extra little bit of money and see what we get. So I guess that's what this is. And I, I really like this. It's got really nice hooks on it. Not too loud a rattle, which I, I like that as well. It's got a very, very nice paint job on it. I've seen crankbaits similar to this do very, very well. <clears throat> and I'm not a hard bait guy. I really don't like this kind of stuff. But that right there, I think it'll work. I think it'll, it will produce something. So that's a good one. <clears throat> you guys comment down below if you think when, when, when we go to do a slam with this, if we should include this since it wasn't technically part of the box. Or if we should just say, you know what, it wasn't in the box uh, to begin with, so we're just going to leave it alone and, and not include it. Because this is going to be a hard one to knock out. <clears throat> this is going to be a hard one to knock out. It's popper. I didn't even check the hooks on it. Let's see if they're any good. I can even open it. There we go. Okay. Here we go. It's like a baby bass color. Maybe peacock bass is what they'll have on here. Lily pad. Strange salmon color. That's what it is right there. Loud rattle. And I, I, I can see this doing well. I just, I haven't had any particular success on poppers. So it's, <clears throat> I'm not like super, super excited about it. But uh, maybe I'll be surprised. You know, you, you can't ever tell. I, I would have, I will say this, and this is one month. I did Mystery Tackle Box for six months. And I did buy some from uh from a friend of mine uh last year you guys may remember uh the videos i made on that on those um i just really didn't want to resubscribe the mystery tackle box I, I didn't really like how they did their subscriptions and everything so <clears throat> this is what it's just such an odd such an odd little lure to me, I, I don't know how how I'm going to knock out something like this. It's really heavy. This is a lot heavier than I thought it was going to be. Hmm. But it's sharp. Eh? It's very sharp. <clears throat> Maybe I should ask you guys if it'll count if I catch a, a speckled perch on it. Or, or a, a, a white, a white uh, crappy. Because that one right there might be... Might be easier to catch a catch a catch a crappy one than a than a bass. Maybe not, but that's that's what I think. Looking at it, I think that's a, more of a, a panfish style bait than a, than a <clears throat> bass bait. Look at the Lunker Hunt turbine, which is their buzz bait. Looks a little small sharp but it's small it's like a peanut butter and jelly color moss i don't look like no moss i've ever seen but there it is it's supposed to line up something like that hmm now it's it's sharp but <clears throat> I just don't know really how this is going to do in, in January, especially. It's just, it's so, it's going to get so cold by the time I get to go fishing. I just don't think the, the top orders are going to produce. I am very excited about these little guys. Oh. They don't have any scent on them, but 
They are greasy, which is a good thing. How are you supposed to rig that thing up? What, you ain't gonna tell me? Oh, that's cool. What they call it? It ain't a line through swim bait. I know that. I ain't stupid, but it looks like it's supposed to rig up like. Hold up. Hold it up to the light. Well, how do you get the thing in there? So it looks to me like there's a like a cavity running through this little thing. And you have to run your hook down through said cavity. How this is supposed to work, I don't know. Oh, goodness. Maybe I should look up a YouTube video about how to rig up one of these things. Are you supposed to? Uh, well, I'm not smart. There we go. So you have to slide it in through here. And then I suppose when you're ready to switch it out, you just pull it right, right back through like that. And so you can see this little right piece right here. There's actually a slit. You can see it right there <clears throat> that you take the uh, head of your jig put in there and then you just run that all the way through the bait and you see right there on the top there it goes where your line tie pops up right there I don't know if it's supposed to have this little piece right here or not, but I see it catching fish. See it catching some some big ones. It's because of the size of the bait. And that's a, that's a big old bait there. Mannequin a pure shiner. Not a little shad or something like that. making this video go down a little bit longer than I should, but we, well, we've already looked at this. You guys know what I'm going to do with this. I'm just like going wacky rig it, probably. Either wacky rig it or uh, weightless Texas. Seems to work pretty good for me, so. Now, this one is... I don't really have anywhere I can fish a Ned rig, which is my problem. I, I, I can understand kind of how that works but you know that's that's going to be a hard one to knock off for me just to get through grass and, and everything with it but i i think it's i think it's doable <clears throat> the one that concerns me though is is just that that bug i don't i don't know how that's going to work out that was real smart well i think that's all we've got on here. So we got this lunker hunt stuff. Maybe if I like this, I'll get some more lunker hunt stuff. If that's something you guys want to see me use, uh, drop that in a comment down below. Let me know. <clears throat> that's some of the some of the stuff they have if any of you guys are interested 
Um, of course, we got a sticker. But, yeah. We'll just have to see kind of how that goes and, and what everything uh, plays into the the making for for that video. Um, it's going to be a rough one to do in January. I'll, I'll tell you that. It's just going to be so cold. I don't know how we're going to knock out those those top order baits, but maybe maybe I'll be surprised. Anyways, y'all guys, stay tuned. See what happens after after uh, or what what I do with this stuff. And uh, <clears throat> you guys stay safe, stay in the outdoors, and I'll catch you on the next one.